Welcome to Cooking at Nanook Lodge. Today's episode about a main dish is going to focus on a chimichurri sauce. It's a South American sauce that comes from Argentina and Uruguay, and it's a really great sauce that goes with steak. I've got a flank steak here that we're going to season up simply with salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil and put it on the grill. But chimichurri sauce, it's kind of herbaceous. It always has parsley in it. It always has oregano in it. It always has garlic. And then there are lots of other options. Let's talk about the ingredients in the way I like to make chimichurri. As I said, there's always garlic. I buy this lovely stuff that's already peeled. It's super easy. Yeah, it's a little more expensive, but uh, to me it's worth it to be able to do that. Oregano, parsley, those two are always there. And then a lot of people argue about whether you should have cilantro or not. I say yes, some people say no. We've got some salt and pepper, and olive oil, and then you want just a little bit of heat, not a lot. Some people will put jalapenos in there. I like to use crushed red pepper. It gives it just a little bit of different kind of heat, not such a green heat as a jalapeno, and it also gives it just a little bit of color with the red. And then a little bit of vinegar. And the vinegar adds the, the characteristic tanginess to the chimichurri sauce. So it's not going to be an overly runny sauce. It should be kind of a thick, oily sauce that goes with it. I always put it on steak, but it can be used for so many other things. You can marinate your steak in it. You can marinate chicken in it. Um, it's a great, lovely sauce to give some grilled fish, especially a hearty fish like a swordfish uh, or a tuna off the grill, give it just a great punch of flavor. So it's very, very versatile. Think outside the box. There's people who like to put shallots in there or onions in there. You can mix up the herbs if you want. It then becomes a less traditional chimichurri, but there's lots of different ways you can play with a, an herbal, vinegary, uh, oily sauce and just have some fun with it. Here I've prepped all the ingredients for the chimichurri. The red wine vinegar, I've minced the garlic, we've got our three uh, dry spices measured out here. We've got parsley, oregano, and cilantro. Sort of the way I like it, right, is that they've got about a quarter cup of cilantro, I've got about a half cup of oregano, and a cup of parsley, so it just kind of doubles as it goes up. And I've just really finely chopped those, um, not necessarily super fine, there's still some leaves left. I like it to look a little bit rough and rustic. Um, you certainly could put this in a food processor, and it might make it faster than standing there and chopping everything, but you'll get more of a puree or a pesto type kind of texture to it. And I want mine not to be quite like that. So I've, I've taken time to hand chop the herbs, um, and then we're gonna mix everything together, and then we'll finish it off by adding the olive oil last. So we're gonna start by just dumping in all of the herbs into the bowl. Get them all in there, Karen. So you can see it's oily, a little bit of oil pulling at the bottom. It's really herby. Now, you can add more oil if you want. Um, if you want it to be more olive oily, lots of people do. I don't want mine super oily because I'm gonna put it with a steak and the steak's got enough uh, richness to it that I don't want it to be overly oiled. So, there's enough oil in there, that vinegar that you can see a pool down at the bottom, but it's not gonna be super oily or gloppy when it goes on. Your chimichurri is ready. Put it in the fridge for a little bit. Uh, it'll stay uh, nice and fresh for a couple of days in the fridge, so if you want to prep this up ahead of time, you can do that um, really easily as well. But there's your chimichurri. So let's get to grilling some steak. Chimichurri sauce is ready to go, and so we're going to season the steak and get that ready for the grill. It's a sunny day out, and we don't get too many of those now coming into winter, so let's use the grill one more time. Great steak, flank steak. I'm going to simply season it with salt and pepper, and I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes, get to room temperature before I throw it on the grill. Before I throw it on the grill, I'm just gonna lightly brush a little olive oil over the top so it doesn't stick too bad. And when it's done, we'll bring it in, slice it into nice strips, drizzle the chimichurri sauce over the top, and we'll be ready to go. Takes it, and then we'll throw it on the grill. When I come back, I'll show you how it all finishes up. 
All right, flank steak on the grill. We're gonna let it go for maybe about three or four minutes on each side, and that'll give us a nice medium, medium rare, which is how I like to eat my flank steak. All right, we've got our grilled flank steak, beautiful medium rare, the chimichurri sauce is over the top. It's gonna be delicious. Enjoy your dinner, and thanks for tuning in to Cooking at Man and Flotch. Thank you.